Welcome to the Tepper School of Business Multimedia Series. For more information on the Tepper School at Carnegie Mellon, please visit us at www.tepper.cmu.edu slash multimedia. And now, here's your selected video. My background is in engineering for my undergraduate degree. And when I was looking at business schools, um, Tepper clearly came out as one of the top choices. Uh, one of the reasons that Tepper was my first choice and that I ultimately ended up coming here was the opportunity to pursue a dual degree with the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department in the Engineering College. Um, I thought that when I talked to people here at Carnegie Mellon and at Tepper that I was really sold on the idea that uh, the two programs were really fused together nicely. Uh, so far I've been able to take classes in five different schools, uh, not only uh, the business school, and also in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, but also in the School of Architecture, the School of Design, and the College of Computer Science. Um, these are top schools in and of themselves, and it's been really easy for me to uh, reach outside of the two programs that I'm uh, directly enrolled in and take classes elsewhere. Well, there are a number of different research institutes and research centers here on campus, including the Green Design Institute, the Steinbrenner Institute for Environmental Education and Research, and a lot of these research centers will have seminars and student involvement in those seminars is encouraged. There's a lot of learning that happens there. The Green Practices Committee here at the university is a very unique committee. Not many universities have something similar and a very unique opportunity for students is to get involved directly with the committee. I've been involved with the committee since I arrived here at the university and one of the projects that I was excited to be a part of was a student summit in Copenhagen which paralleled the Conference of Parties in December. The Green Practices Committee's approach to reducing our environmental footprint and to environmental sustainability is considering which projects are really implementable, which projects have a real impact. On the club side of things, uh, the Net Impact Club for instance at the Tepper School, there's a lot of opportunity to get involved with actual projects and project delivery. So there's a really good tie between understanding what some of the cutting edge research in the field is and actually trying to implement those projects in a real world setting here at the university. Personally, another major factor in choosing to come to Carnegie Mellon was to move to the city of Pittsburgh. My wife and I are planning to reside here permanently afterward. I think that there's a lot of opportunity in the near and long term future for my interest in environmental sustainability. The city of Pittsburgh is showing a lot of promising movement in that area and ever since the steel industry moved away I think Pittsburgh's been looking for something like this to kind of latch onto and grow.